Hey guys, happy Christmas. I just want to say that to you and thank you all so much for following me. I hope you enjoy the Christmas break and have a great new year. Bye. Hey YouTube, how's it going? So it has been the most incredible year for me. I not only did I graduate university with a degree in English and journalism, but I moved into a new house. So I'm going to post photos of my house not a lot, lot of photos because i want to respect my own privacy you know i don't want people like nosing or something but i'm gonna um let you have a look at what the inside of my house looks like and um i'll be vlogging from my house from now on my new house um uh, mostly um i'm not allowed to vlog from the shops which is a pity but in this country they don't let you film inside shops so um it'll have to be outdoors but there's beautiful scenery here in the west of Ireland so um, I'm going to be vlogging from the outdoors more often and um, yeah I've basically been in limbo for the past couple of well the past six months at least anyways I was the first half of the year I was trying to finish my degree and then the second half I was just preparing to move house and my stuff was just like everywhere and I was upside down inside out. I don't know where <laughs> I was all over the place and um, so I've I've kind of settled now and I've got my stuff together so I'm going to be doing proper YouTube videos and uh, you'll be glad to know I'll be out and about with my camera and um yeah so I'm really really happy it's all going really well I'm still thinking about doing teaching because there are jobs in teaching I've been looking for an office job for the past six months I cannot find anything at all so um it looks like teaching might be the way to go because there's still jobs and it's quite well paid um and I'm not getting any younger, so I'm gonna have to just think of something. I'll probably like teaching. I'll try it anyway and see how it goes. Okay, so I'll talk to you later. Hey guys. So, you know, when you kind of, you start off doing one thing and you end up doing something else. Um, I haven't got the call from the, um, I don't want to name the place, but the news organization um, that I, they called last March and they didn't call again. So um, I have another six months left on the panel or seven months. So I don't know if, if that will ever happen. So I'm not sure if I am a journalist. But I'm not sure if um, I'll find anything in the near future because like, there isn't that many jobs in journalism to begin with. And it looks like there's a recession coming as well. So um, I don't actually know. So I'm going to put my name down for teaching as in apply for it. Cross my fingers. Hope for the best. Um, I think I would like a steady job now. I've been trying to get an office job for months. And it looks really bad that I can't find anything. <laughs> so it does look really, really bad. Uh, but I've been trying, so there's not much else I can do. Except try something else. Um, but in the meantime, if the call does come through before July from the news organisation, then that would be brilliant. And I'll be happy with that. But I've got to think about this house as well. And I've got to think about the mortgage. And, um, you know, it's just a lot to think about getting a car so I mean I don't know if freelancing and doing casual work is right for me at this point because I need something steady I need a you know I can't be doing casual work anymore I'm in my, in my 40s now and it's just I need to kind of you know settle into a job for <laughs> pretty fast I think so um and as for any more courses, I'm not sure about that either. Uh, it's not that I don't want to, it's just that I can't decide. So either teaching or law or creative writing. And I want to do all three. And I don't think I can. Um, it's going to cost a lot of money. So I have to pick one. Uh, so I don't know which one I'm going to pick. So... Because I love the law, I really did love the law, but um, full-time study was not feasible. So if I want to do it, it has to be part-time, online. 
uh, creative writing. Possibly, I have a big creative writing following on Twitter, or, or X it's called now. And uh, I, I think there's a niche there, but that's not a day job. Writing is not a day job. So it's only the, for the lucky few who really make it. So, um, so I don't know. And there's also the option to teach English as a foreign language, but I have to do another course called the Celtic course. So in some ways, my life is still upside down in the terms of career and study and that. But I do have my degree now and I do have the house sorted. So next day to be sorting out a car and a day job. Um, so I'm going to do that and cross my fingers and hope for the best. Thank you.